You know, in America, we don't know much about Rwanda, and really the only thing you do know is genocide. It's amazing to see how far they've come since that time. Uh, it's a developing country, and the people are excited about their future. Uh, they're all committed to the vision that their president's put forward for them. They have a spirit of growth that's, that's very inspiring. So basically we're here to uh, provide support for Regent University and their business school here in Rwanda to uh, offer our expertise and advice from uh, the years of being Chick-fil-A operators. Even though our businesses are quite different than what they're trying to do, uh, business is business and so we can offer a lot of good ideas and suggestions to maybe help them in their upstart to uh, hopefully be more successful when they do do that. This week in particular we were able to provide the serve model of leadership and then also a seminar on second mile service and operational excellence and a lot of things that, that we were able to relate on their level that I think they will take a lot of things away and hopefully apply them in their business. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to come and do this Having been a Chick-fil-A operator for over 20 years, you go through a certain amount of burnout and because you're doing the same thing all the time and even though we're reinventing and, and doing new things and new products, I was looking for something that would energize me. This was the perfect opportunity. I was able to take the blessings of experience that was provided uh, to me through Chick-fil-A and share it in, a, in another part of the world and I feel like we're going to have an impact and that's very rewarding and very it's, it's a huge blessing for us too because that does energize you and it makes you more excited about your opportunity at home. This trip in my opinion was much more of a fit for me as an operator because the one-on-one -on -one consulting time was what I'm very passionate about. I love coaching and I love investing in people and to get the opportunity to work side by side with a business leader, help them form a profit and loss statement or think through a business plan that they have and what concerns they may not be considering is an amazing opportunity and it'll be very rewarding when we get the opportunity to come back and see them and how they've succeeded in their projects. <laughs> We were able to meet Matilda yesterday and have a conversation with her and she's a graduate of the uh, Regent School here in Rwanda. Just a wonderful lady. Just, I mean, you meet her and you, you almost feel like you've known her for years. She makes you feel that way because she just opens her heart. You know, she had a, a great idea of being able to serve her community and what turned out to be a service to her community actually turned into a business. It's like a win-win. She's able to, to uh, supply herself with revenue at the same time help her own community in a very poor area. Well, this is something we haven't seen yet in our visit to Rwanda, so Matilda invited us into one of the ladies in the village, into her home. She shared with us that her husband had died of AIDS and that uh, uh, she too was HIV and that her children were as well. And that really all the children you see us walking here are all HIV infected and it's just... <laughs> uh, she shared with, Matilda shared with us that in this village that the majority of the women uh, here have HIV and that uh, and uh, many of their husbands are, are no longer here and that of course the, the children have HIV so just to know that uh, their time is limited but they're so happy they just want somebody to reach out and hopefully we're, we're able to do that in some way we came here to, to share serve and I I just viewed it as a presentation, but it's a lot more than that. It's, I feel now that uh, perhaps we were called to be here to, to, to deliver that. And when we, you know, when we presented yesterday, you never thought that this is what these people were doing. This is this was their this was their opportunity, and uh, they were seeking advice from us on how to to. Uh, you know, make it better. And uh, I just pray that we did. And, uh, and, and this is just one example out of many, many people that were there. Chick-fil-A to me has always been about people. This just takes it to a whole new level. I mean, I'm, I'm impacted forever. I mean, I'll never be the same. Hopefully now I can go back and share and, and not only with the people at Chick-fil-A, but the people in my community and just let them know that, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty sheltered. <laughs> we need to we need to get out of our box, and, um, and I'm just glad that I have a vehicle through Windshape to be able to do that and, 
and the, you know that's just the, the the heart of Truett and the whole family, and just to, to give us these opportunities, and I'm I'm just really blessed for it. Yeah.